What's up everybody, the Destroyer here, and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings, the Third Age for the PlayStation 2. This is part 23 of our playthrough. And we left off, we were still heading through Osgiliath, I believe. That sounds about right. I left off in this awkward spot. But we'll continue on. Apologies for no video yesterday, as I was sick, and I'm still sick, but figured I might as well put something out. So apologies if I cough or sniffle or whatever. It's the price I pay for having sick roommates. No escape. Alright. Bill Bite. Ouch. That was kind of painful. Also, we can use a uh, creature bait against these. I forgot about that. I didn't think of that. That's brought, been brought to my attention. So we'll definitely utilize that. It's not actually as good as I was hoping it'd be. I guess it's alright. Uh. Oh, I just realized we don't have Idriel. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can tell it's not the same day because I have no idea what's going on. But yeah. I guess we're on our way to save Idriel. That makes sense. But now we have to kill a damn another Nazgul. Hopefully that'll give us some good loot though. Uh, there is an item that can get rid of that nonsense. Wait, does he have a spirit power that can do that? Dispel. Was all enemy enhancements. Oh, no. Damn it. I guess we'll just use his turn to do that. Or can we frenzy? Didn't we just go with him? So now we can hit twice? Fair enough. I won't argue with it. Um, do it again. Even though we're hitting him for tons, we're barely denting his life pool. Which is slightly worrying. Yeah, the item was, uh... Oh, God. Uh... Valnor Medicine's the one that actually revives your whole party. That is the thing to keep in mind. I don't have many of them, but I do have one. Oh, the one that... There is one that removes that status effect, but I can't remember what it is. My mind is muddled, so I'm not gonna have any chance, since I couldn't remember it normally anyway. Oh well. Uh, let's go Hadhod. Sure. Let's see how much he does. He has he has some things to do here. Mountain Rage. Let's try that. I think he'll crit both times. Yeah, he does much more than Elagost. Although Hadhod is about dead. Didn't notice that. Ah, good. Whoa! Double attack. Allows Barathor to take two extra actions this turn. Hell yeah. That sounds good. One of them. Let's heal ourselves. There we go. Done and done. Easy peasy. Now we can do, uh... Let's do stand fast so we don't get stunned again. I think it was the Nazgul and not the, uh, orc that did that. Could be wrong. Oh, shit. Ad hot is bit the dust. It's not good. It's not good at all. So we'll use an health medicine. We got plenty of those. I do miss a drill already, though. <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> Having her, uh, her res is, has been quite nice. Okay, uh, I guess we'll do a cleaving wound. How about that? And that'll put a bleed on him, right? Hopefully. Apparently, Barathor is immune to fear, so that's nice. Unfortunately, he's not. Eh, uh, well, what can you do? Let's taunt. I don't know if it'll make much difference, but it might. We can only hope. Of course, I think that hits everybody. I might actually be in trouble here without my big heavy hitters. Especially since Elagos is frozen in fear. I do have a heal. Remember, I did give him Lightcraft, but at the same time... The AoEs again, we die. But if I res, I die. Ooh, we might have to double attack. It's expensive AP-wise, but I think we're gonna have to do it. Oh shit, it doesn't let you do... Crap. Okay, we'll just hit that. Fair enough. I guess if Barathor just keeps striking, we should be fine, right? Uh... Just a little spirit power damage to the group. I guess we should probably just... Ah, oh, we can't, that's right. <laughs> Keep wanting to res him, but... Not gonna happen. Well, we can Ecthelion Wrath. That's not too bad. 
I guess we gotta kill him eventually. Nice. Almost 10,000 damage. Not too shabby. These Nazgul are quite tough. Oh, and then he follows it up with a foul breath? That's some bullshit. Please stop being I mean, er, <laughs> under the effect of fear. Damn it. Alright, well I have to attack. Otherwise I die. Not that it's a bad thing. Please cast it on Barathor. Yes! Wasted turn. Good, good, good. Now I can use... I guess we'll bring up Hadhod now. That would be wise. Does Hadhod have a heal of any kind? Probably not. We could use Mount Shield though. That's a thing. Why not? He's actually low on AP. Hopefully he levels up pretty soon. I'll cure up his health and his AP. Hadhod. Or not Mad, but Barathor got the fear attacking him. Excellent. Hopefully he never realizes that that doesn't work. Until we war call his ass to death. Mountain Rage, nice. I love when I do war call and they use their best move. Or at least the best one I have. Really? Barathor gets a free move because Eoden can't. That's interesting. I thought Yudin still would have attacked anyway. But I guess that's actually fine. Yudin probably just would have stabbed him anyway, since he doesn't seem to know how to use his good moves in War Call. Ah! Hadhog never lives very long. Finally, he's not under the effect of that shit anymore. Hopefully, Yudin gets a turn. I don't want to kill him with Hadhog on the ground, though. Aw, oh, don't you dare! Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's terrifying. I forgot what I stole from the last Nazgul. Should I bring it in? Bring in Morwen? That could be a devastating thing to do. Could also be good. Let's do it. Thiefcraft, steel item. He's about to die anyway. Long bottom rally. I don't know if that's good or not. But I don't want to beat this with that odd on the ground. So somebody's got to heal him and then we're gonna have to kill him. So hopefully we can manage that. Uh, good, we can switch you out for Barathor again. The Barathor can use his elf medicine to bring back the dwarf man. Very good. Ugh, still. I'm just like waiting. How does the flame fury, I wonder? Pretty dog shit, actually. <laughs> I guess with that spirit, you really can't do any spirit damage with him. That was not good. Eoden does not get any turns, holy shit. Okay, well... It's gonna go Barathor, Nazgul, Barathor, Nazgul, and then Eoden. What kind of horseshit is this? Hmm. What if we don't heal? I think he could take one hit, right? Oh god, this could be the, the biggest mistake of my life. I'm hoping not. Okay, Hadhod gets to go. Maybe he'll finish him. That would be great. Please, kill him. Because of doom. And everything else dwarven. Yes! Thank you. Whew. That was close. Some of these fights are getting pretty tough. But I guess that's to be expected. We are near the end of the game, sort of. Alright, more when wind gets an item. Lovely. And there's some chests. Second Age Dwarven Steel Battle Axe. Fly Water Vial, Long Bottom Leaf. Cool. Polish Elf on Blunt Defense. I guess that'll be good against trolls, right? I don't know if we'll put it on yet, though. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go for damage for her. Sounds reasonable. Uh, items, what do you got? We're here steel pauldrons. Upgrades are pretty well, actually. Cool. Uh, is this good for her? I mean, probably not, but who knows. She has armor, armor, action, and slashing defense. 
slightly increased action point values. She kind of needs that because her action point values are so low. But at the same time, maybe not. I don't have her in very often. I guess we'll give this to her then. What ifs? And I'll have to deal with it. Uh, he has no equipment. Some for him. A battle axe that's straight up damage. So that's a 93. Our current one is 88. It's a slight upgrade, but everything else takes a hit. I don't know if it's worth it. If I make a mistake on that, let me know. And I will rectify that immediately next time. But for now, I will carry on in ignorance. Oh shit, before I go too far, we probably should heal up with some items, huh? Restore some health and action points. I guess we can use... Oh, we want the ones of party, don't we? Uh... No... Restore some health and action points to the party. Let's just spam these. Okay, she looks fully healed. His action point values are not great. Maybe I'll just give him something to uh, fix that. Oh, <laughs> he has 72. Okay, well, I don't think healing is the problem here. Uh, I probably went too far. Restore some extra to the party. I don't want the party ones. Restores full action points? No, those are more useful in combat. Greater action points. There we go. That'll do. Should at least get him to a level up, right? Just in case, we'll give one to him as well. Incredibly useful. And him. There we go. So I want to make sure everybody's at least ready for combat. Well, speaking of which, there it is. The infamous combat. Oh god, it's another one. This is a living hell. Okay. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? I mean, he does AoE attacks. That's what really kills us, isn't it? Or maybe he was using the fear attack on only Barathor because I taunted him. That is a possibility. And I will gamble on that possibility. Staggering Bash. Oh, it was the orc who did that shit. Ah! Damn it. Alright, for this you'll pay a terrible price. The price of death. Oh, yes. Eoden's like some sort of vampire, sucking people's life force away. It ain't natural. None of it. Double attack we could do. Or alternatively, we could do something else. Maybe not that. Uh, leadership. Restore some extra points? No. Reduce all spirit power damage to the group. Let's try that. I'd imagine Foul Breath is highly on the side of uh, spirit power. Same with that. Well, maybe. I do like the particle effect of that one. It's cool. Alright, uh, I guess we can have Thelion Wrath? Or we could War Call. Yeah, let's War Call. I actually don't know, know which is better. I guess it depends on what he does. Of course he uses this regular attack. He would so lame when I use War Call. He knows he has a better move than that. But I guess in in a way, we we get a free Ecthelion Wrath and attack. Instead of just Ecthelion Wrath. And yes, he is only using fear on Barathor. So that is definitely worth it. Okay. Uh let's use armor. We're hitting him with a lot of melee attacks. If we bring down his armor, it'll probably help out a bit. Uh oh. Uh, he's okay. We're okay. Let's heal up. Ha! I love it. I'll never get rid of the sword until I get another one. It does the exact same thing. Uh, cleaving wound? Sure, why not? I'm not sure how much it does over time, but... It's not too bad. Ooh. <laughs> Those a thousand attacks really make me nervous. Oh no, he missed! You're not supposed to miss! He has to go quite often, though, because his speed's so high. Oh, God. I might have to take out Adhod for Eodin. I'm thinking. 
I meant Elagost, of course. Uh, a frenzy? What can he do? Obviously, he won't be able to put it to sleep. He doesn't really use melee damage. Range attack lowers post spirit defense. That could be good. He did this full on spirit attack, so maybe that'll help out. And I would use a training shot, but really, what's the point? Can we blind him? We can try. I doubt it. How can you blind something without eyes? Would be my question. Alright, let's double attack. I'm feeling saucy. Very nice. I'm not gonna bother stealing from him this time. I don't think. Alright, let's work all. I can see why I burned through my AP so quick. Using a lot of these moves. Not bad. Kinda bad. Although it's around the same damage, I guess. He has a lot of points. So you damn right we're going to drain health twice. Well, just so happened he needed to be healed as well. How convenient. Oh bites. He's still taunted. Good. My bear thor could just heal up on his counterattack. Oh, so good. Suck it. Yeah, bastard has ghoul. He's on fire as well. Why is he on fire? I couldn't tell you. Um, creature bane, I guess. He's getting close. Let's bring him down. Maybe I could bring in more when to finish it. It's risky. But not a terrible idea. Everyone in this party actually can heal themselves. Maybe I won't. Because I would like them to stay at full life if I can help it. Eodin's already at full life. Berthor gets attack. And hopefully they'll kill him. And then we'll leave full life. No, not quite. He's gotta be damn close to leaving, though. I wonder how many Nazgul attacks there are on this damn bridge. Not a fan. Yeah, I wish Cruiser Bane was a bit more effective. <laughs> I was expecting it to be quite effective. It's not. But none of his moves really are, I guess. Alright. Bullshit. Fantastic. And a save point. That's always welcome. I guess ending the battle in full health isn't that big of a deal after all, since we can uh, save anyway and heal up. So we are 62% through the game, huh? It's not as far as I thought we were, I'm gonna be honest, but at the same time, it's pretty far. Either way is fine with me. I'm enjoying the game quite a bit, so I don't mind if it goes on for a while. I do mind these damn battles, though. You know, I'm gonna cut out this Fel Beast fight. Having too many Fel Beast fights in one... Oh, uh, I guess it's a little different, isn't it? No, not really. Yeah, I'll cut this one out. Alright, piece of cake. You didn't get some leather tacits, you didn't get some real cart gold spear. Nice. I whooped that Nazgul easily. Barathor is a little wounded, but nothing too bad. Alright. So, let's see. Armor upgrade, of course. Okay. And a gold spear. Yeah. That looks good. Lowers the speed a tiny bit. Dexterity a tiny bit, but everything else. Seems pretty solid. Plus, who doesn't want a gold spear? Am I right? Or am I right? Alright. Surely we're getting close to... Saving Idriel, right? We gotta be. Oh, the sewer. Lovely. Just where I like to spend my time. Okay, quest journal updated. Let's let's check it out real quick. Uh, Forty percent through Osgiliath there. Rescue Idriel started. Spoils of war. Many of the enemy's weapons have been lost to the river. You must find one that will aid you in this battle. 
You must find a way to reach the occupied island if you hope to rescue Idriel before she is overwhelmed by enemies. Okay. So we gotta find some sort of item. Well, okay. There's a save point that way. Although this way looks like it might be a dead end, so let's go this way first. I like to explore dead ends beforehand. Uh, is that really a dead end? Well, let's get the battle over with. <laughs> oh well. We'll see. Just a couple of orcs. Wait, what? What the literal shit? I guess we play as Idriel on occasion. So we literally have to get there before she gets killed. But we have to do the battles as well. Interesting. Also kind of annoying. Because she just got staggered. I mean, she's probably going to die. If she just spams staggering stash, slash, how am I going to get out? This is some bullshit. Oof. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I literally could do nothing about that. What a bunch of horse shit. Ah, that's annoying as hell. Okay, well. I don't know who scripted that fight in, but fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that's... Hmm, that's a thing. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat that next time I have to fight it. So I'm going to have to go through this damn Nazgul fight again. I'll do that off camera, of course. Alright, now that's dealt with, let's carry on through the sewers once again. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. A little nightmare. I'm going this way first. Screw that noise. I want the save point, and I want it quick. I guess you're probably supposed to go for the save point first, which is probably why it's flickering on the map. Although... I didn't think a save point would be an objective, so... Oh well. Not that I would have saw that battle coming anyway. So at least if we get killed, we can continue on from here. Not having a save point before that was a bit obnoxious, I will admit. Let's go this way instead. I don't care what's the other direction now. There's a chest there, though. I am looking for something. And I will find it. We're here steel pauldrons for you Nice. Okay. Eodin's getting a bunch of gear in this one. I'm happy with that. It's not Eodin. There it is. Nice. It's getting up there in the arbor department, finally. It's closer to everybody else. Oh! There is a battle. Battle for Idriel? Ah, oh, thank god. Well, I say that. Although it's not really something I want to see. <laughs> Drum or troll with a bunch of horns. Could be worse, though. This will be much easier to kill. Especially if we can get an Elagos in here. We will, uh... Let's see. We'll do a double attack. So I can do this. Stand fast. Because undoubtedly they're going to hit me with some stuns, which are literally worse than everything I've ever encountered. And what else? I guess we can go Company Valor. Why not? I'll leave the killing to Eodin. I need to trade out Had Hod when I get a chance. He'll just sit there and be a tank. Be a boss. He's his full... Full spirit points again, or whatever you want to call him. Well, we probably will end up putting all the orcs to sleep, so let's just kill the troll, huh? Sounds reasonable in theory. Nice. Almost one one drained health almost kills a troll. That's pretty good. Alright, you switch out for you, and you put everyone to sleep with your lullaby arrow. Hmm. We missed one. It didn't even tell me what the other one hit. It's a little weird. Okay, let's let's taunt this one. He's the only one awake. Berthor can take whatever he throws. See that? Look at that. Perfect. I guess at this point we can just go for a swordcraft. Cthulian Wrath on the awake one. Hopefully I'll kill him. 6,000. Seems to be enough to kill an orc. Fantastic. Alright, uh, we'll just do a Arrows of Sleep again. So it'll hit them both. They won't wake them up either. Might as well. 
It's not great damage, but it is some damage. I'll just leave the killing to Barathor, I suppose. Does he need to do anything serious? Probably not. Zork man enough? Indeed it is. Easily enough. Oh god, he gets so many turns. Also, a, a way I found really good to deal with Nazgul is to slow their speed with Elagost. He has an arrow that's like a slowing arrow. I used it a couple times on a Fell Beast, or Nazgul, and he couldn't really go at all before my guys go because their speed is so high. It was pretty sweet. So that's uh, how I've been killing the Nazgul so easily. Just gotta make sure you get your Elagost in there. Alright, what do we got? It's a little damp. A little uh, uncomfortable, but it's, it's alright. Alright, I think that's where we came from. It's tempting to go the other way, but I know I'm gonna have that scripted battle for Israel, and I just don't want to do it. <laughs> so screw it. I feel like if you go that way, it kind of screws you. Quest journal updated. Okay, well, uh, this is interesting. We'll taunt this one. Can you put Olog High to sleep? I can't remember. We're certainly gonna find out, aren't we? Go to sleep, big old troll mans. Well, they're immune, but it does still do pretty good damage, so I might as well just use it again. Paralyzing shot, that's the one I was talking about earlier. That slows their attack speed. Making them never appear on that damn list on the right side. Which is pretty handy. Alright. He should actually be able to kill them both now, I think. Possibly not this one. Nope, never mind. I stand corrected. He done died. Piece of cake. Look at that. Yodin, you the man. I didn't like Yodin at first, I'm gonna be honest. I still don't like his long ass spear animation, but <laughs> other than that, he's pretty, pretty good. Alright, good. That went well. Uh, it said something. Quest journal updated or what have you. Hands of healing. Adriel faces desperate odds and Will certainly will be wounded. And will certainly be wounded. Oh. You must bring the means to heal here for the fight yet to come. There's giving me more shit to do around here. Damn them. Alright, let's keep pouring points in the constitution for Barathor. I'm liking the way that's working out so far. You, of course, do that. And who else is it? Tad Odd. His strength is quite up there. I'm quite happy with his things, although his speed leaves something to be desired. Let's put a couple points on that. Because his time between attacks is pretty poor, I must admit. Alright, there's a save point there. It's not quite time to wrap up yet, so we'll search around first, I guess. I'm gonna regret not saving, and I let's save first. <laughs> I should learn from my mistakes. Not saving is definitely one of them. All right, good. Seventeen hours playtime. Actually, more than that because I had to do a lot of things off camera, <laughs> which sucks. I hate doing things off camera. It's the worst. It increases the recording time of a video exponentially. Which I'm not a fan of. I just like to get my video done, get it out, get it rendered so I can do other things. In this case, just rest, because I'm sick. This being sick sucks. Alright, double attack, taunt foe. I guess we'll double attack and taunt foe, eh? Seems reasonable. I guess you can't do that. Never mind then. Let's burst him down. Last thing I want is that asshole to do his moves. Orc Bane should probably be enough. Oh yeah, definitely. Assuming he hits. <laughs> I jinxed it. Assuming he hits, he says. Now I have to waste one of Eodin's moves to kill this damn thing with no health. But I guess it is better than having to deal with its wrath. Because those things are quite strong, quite annoying. Not like this troll is anything special nowadays. They seem to have an affinity for destroying trolls. Just paralyze him. We'll see how far that drops him. 
Oh shit, actually did good damage too. And he's still going neck. Oh, actually, actually paralyzed him. I thought I was using a crippling shot. Oh, that was easy. I guess paralyzing is actually more effective than slowing him down, isn't it? It stops him entirely. And nothing is really better than that, other than being dead, I suppose. Okay. Very good. More junk. Alright, how do we... How do we get over here? Like this? Wait, did I... Get turned around? How did I get over here? I'm unsure. I could have swore I went up closer to this one. Second Age Elven Mithril Greaves. Oh, that sounds fancy. Barathor gets something. I skipped it because I didn't think that there was anything else in there. Let's see what it is. Fountain Guard Pauldrons. Oh yeah, look at him. He's glorious. Loving it. Alright, we'll level you up real quick. I guess we'll put more points into Constitution. Actually, let's put more points of speed for him. I'd like him to attack more often with his gigantic powerful attacks. Seems reasonable. Anything else down here that I need to find? I mean, there are these side passages. Quite possibly have something in it. You can kind of look up, but not really. Ah! I'm gonna have to get another battle just to look. There's definitely a chest up there. We're going for it! But I will be wrapping this up in about three minutes or so, probably. I need to keep it short because talking kind of hurts. Uh, frenzy. Yeah. Why not? Alright, let's do a paralyzing shot on you. It won't work on the orc. I remember this. The sleep doesn't work either, so really we'll just do whatever we want. I guess we'll do a, uh... Just do a sleep arrow. Hits them both. Might as well. Actually does decent damage to the orc, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. For sure. Okay, double attack. Fighting blade. Let's just take out this prick here. Swordcraft. Exilion Wrath should be enough, I hope. Oh, definitely enough. Great. And we have more than enough AP to use two of these. And finish the troll, I'd assume. Might not, but it'll be damn close. Oh yeah, piece of cake. They should call me Troll Bane for the amount of trolls I'm gonna go through in this game. Of course, I'd probably kill more orcs now that I think about it, so. Maybe Orc Bane would be more appropriate. Evil Bane! Just call me that. That works too. The Bane of all things good. Ah, oh, Barathor looks so cool with these new pauldrons. Soon he's gonna look like a true hero. You didn't get some van braces. I mean, he already kinda does look like a true hero, doesn't he? Once we get a full on tower guard suit. I guess we kinda do, don't we? No, we have an Arnorian helmet. We need an to actual tower guard helmet. Although, which is cooler? I don't know. I love the tower guard look. The men of the West. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I was equipping somebody. I guess it's this guy. Oh, nice. I love a good upgrade. This is everybody. Oh, there's another one. Andorian wool cloak. Wool warrior cloak. Idril gets a thing we can't use yet. Ah, we're just getting stuff for Barathor. I like it. It does lower his army by armor by three, but that's nothing to be. Considered really. Resistant to slash, pierce, and blunt. Let's take a look at our other one. Vulnerable against none, resistance to none. It's so actually our new one. Has some resistances, even though it's a little bit less on everything else. But everything else is very slight. So I think I'm gonna put it on. Still looks cool. That's all that matters to me, really. Do I look awesome? Which is not really the best way to go about things. Looks like a dead end, so we'll head back. Undoubtedly get into some sort of battle with some orc butts. We got a kick, and then we'll save and quit, I guess. And we'll carry on from there. Crippling Blades. Why are they going to start with Crippling Blades? That's the worst one. Apparently it didn't take effect because he counterattacked. Well, I'm cool with that. 
Ah, easy pickings. There's no mage in here. Elagos will make this right. He is running very low on action points, though. But we are about to save, so that's no big deal. Once again, I am very thankful that's a feature. Because <laughs> it saves me a lot of items. Sonic Fury. He's going to do a Gorgor Aspire. Everybody run. Ooh, close enough. Jeez. Alright, well, everybody's asleep except for the troll. Let's just hit the troll. Get Barathor healed up. Nice. Alright, you had a clean house. You know what to do. Alright, we'll drain health on the troll. Drain health on the orc. You could easily sit here and just farm, like, spirit points if you want to. Put them all to sleep and just sit there and spam, like, Barathor's leadership moves or something. Wouldn't be too hard to do. I don't have the patience for that, but I could see it being a thing. Hopefully that'll kill them both. If not, then they'll fix that either way. Ah, we learned Flash Arrow. Excellent. Two for one. We got him killed and we learned something new. It's weird. It doesn't make any sound when the first experience bar loads up. Guess it doesn't really matter at all, but just something I noticed. All right, let's get to the save point here, and we'll wrap it up. Well, that was eventful, pretty fun, other than the beginning part where I died against the Nazgul, <laughs> which is understandable. Oops, I want to save here. Alrighty, those Gilead sewers. That'll do it. Alright, that has been part 23 of the Lord of the Rings of the Third Age. Enjoy making it next time, and we'll carry on through the sewers. See you guys next time.